There are, I don't even know how many, over 50,000, I'm going to guess, military support charities that came out after the war started. We are the only one doing what we're doing, making free, custom adaptive clothing for service members. I love to sew. Uh, my father and father-in-law and cousins and uncles and nephews were all in uh, various wars uh, and, or just served in their service at their choosing. And I love the military. And it's my way of saying this is something I can do at home in my spare time, at my own leisure, to feel like I'm giving back a little bit to these guys who have given so much and in their life-altering, family-changing situations where they come back a different person than they left. I've had the opportunity to actually go to Walter Reed and meet some of these young guys who um, have been wounded and they all want to tell their story. They're, they're not sad and they're not um, weepy and mopey, which we figured we would be after going in to see them, but they're these young proud guys and after going in and visiting them, I came out more energized than, than I could imagine. It's, it's just me and 200 of my closest friends doing a little bit of something to give back to these young guys and their families whose lives are totally changed for the rest of their life. Uh, and they're learning how to reintegrate back into society as a, an individual who is no longer whole because they either have a traumatic brain injury or uh, have lost a limb and are dealing with these sad situations and have to try to make the best of it. So. It makes me feel like I'm making their entry back into their normal lives a little bit easier just through providing some comfortable clothes for them. Over the years, we've been keeping track and we've sent out about 150,000 garments um, and still continue. Our numbers are down uh, with the drawdown of troops, but we're still shipping out weekly to all of these different locations or to individuals. We don't just service these young wounded service members. We also send to uh, older veterans who are living in VA locations and who may be living at home or going in for uh, a different type of surgery than the young guys, but we service all of them. This adaptation is the, the most that we adapt a shirt. It's actually opens on both sides and the shoulder. If someone has a head injury, perhaps they're wearing a helmet, they can't get a regular t-shirt, over their head so this would open at the shoulder making the head opening much larger you could put that over their shoulder their head and then just close it up and it's it is really very useful for the caretaker to help them get dressed i just remember um one mom called in and her son had been taken to to walter reed and she said when she first got there uh, to see him he had, uh, it was just hooked up to every imaginable machine and tube, and, and, but she noticed he had a shirt on. She didn't, and, and the tubes were coming out of it, and she just couldn't figure out how they could have him dressed and, and still have all these tubes on him and he wasn't in a hospital gown. And I think that just really meant a lot that she saw that he, he was dressed with dignity and, and uh, it was something that we had done and, and provided for him, so that meant a lot to me. Many of our volunteers are on fixed incomes and our older women, many, uh, well, not many, several of them are living in retirement centers. So they have their own machine, uh, which they have to maintain and buy the supplies for. We send them all of the garments. We send them all of the necessary supplies to finish adapting the garments in the fashion that we want. Their only responsibility and their contribution to our charity is paying the, the postage to get it back to us. Uh, and many of these ladies um, save and, and send their garments back as they can afford to send them back. But so many of them are just grateful that they can have the opportunity. It's been one of the unspoken benefits that we've been able to help two different groups of people, not only the wounded young men, but this older group of citizens who have found something meaningful in their lives in their retirement years that they feel like they're really contributing to without spending a lot of money or having to travel anywhere other than staying at home.